Gee, Sergeant. Tea? Uh, uh, no, thank you. You really didn't look the type, so... Uh... Oh, thank you. as quickly as possible because we're going to get up very early tomorrow morning and go on a picnic. Yay! Well, haven't you forgotten something? tonight, Andrew? Carrots would have been up. Now everything is dead. Going after Berman. Yesterday they were here. Tomorrow, who knows? God, it seems as if it's always been like this. It'll end. You must be exhausted. Oh, get me back in shape. I feel fine. They certainly think so. What do you think? I think... I think you ought to have some time to yourself. Picnics are supposed to be relaxing you. Okay, then how about a walk? All right. 
Oh, well. Uh, Father, watch the children for a minute, will you? Time we left, I think, don't you? I'll gather up the two. Oh, Sergeant. I, uh... I don't quite... I don't quite know how to say this, but, uh... Anne, the way she manages the children through all this, you'd, you'd think she was a strong person, but... Well, she is, but she's also very sensitive. The war has hurt her. I don't know whether she's told you or not, but uh, what I'm trying to say is I don't want her hurt again. Well, neither do I. I see. Thank you, Sergeant. About me, wasn't it? Yeah, it was about you. What did he say? Oh, nothing. Just that you're kind of special. Children would have such a wonderful time. <coughs> oh, I must have dozed off. Mm. Where are the children? We just put them to bed. And that's mm. where you ought to be. <laughs> Sign of old age when you can't stay awake beyond the children's bedtime. <laughs> Good night, Father. Good night, Father. Good night, Sergeant. Good night. Oh. Ah. Somehow tonight, the war seems a million miles away. How much more time do you have? 
three days. Is it because of something father said? What did he tell you about me? He doesn't want to see you hurt. I see. And you think that you'll hurt me if you stay? Dear father, he's always protecting me. You see, I was married to a soldier. It, it all happened very quickly. We met, we fell in love. We had only a short time together. He was killed soon after D-Day. simply dropped out of my life. Everything seemed so meaningless. I even resented other soldiers merely because they were alive. I guess I blamed the world for not giving David and me more time. And now I knew that was wrong. You can't withdraw from life. isn't how much time you have, it's how you spend it. Please, let's have our three days. And it could happen again. I have to go back. Three days. It could be all the time we'll ever have. Are you sure that's what you want? I'm sure. It's Mr. Tinsley. He's having an attack. There's a chemist about a half mile down the road, number 207. 207. Yes. Mr. Tinsley, she's inside. 
Give this to Mr. Tinsley. 